fuck doing? Everybody go ahead and take your seats at this time. Welcome, friends, family, and honored guests. We are gathered here today to celebrate love. All of you are present today because you, in one way or another, have been a part of Brianna and James' life. On behalf of the bride and groom, I welcome you. Brianna, James, neither one of you knew when you first met that you would be standing here today, pledging your lives to one another. The summer that led you two to meet, that developed into the love you share today, will forever be engraved in your hearts. Never forget that fun and excitement of that summer as you enter this next chapter of your life. Brianna, James, nothing I can say, or nothing I can say, you can say to each other once you're a long and happy, satisfying and committed marriage. Only your love for one another and your integrity to make your commitment real can do that. I humbly offer the words of author William A. Peterson in The Art of Marriage, who I believe has captured in words the essence of that commitment. I hope you'll keep his words upon your heart and refer to them again. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue throughout all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is standing together facing the world. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of sacrifice or duty, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to wear the wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultiva cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is not only marrying the right partner, but being the right partner. This is the art of marriage. You have known each other from first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal manner. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that begin with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow or maybe. All those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All those common things and more are the real process of the way. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed will meant every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, and even teacher. For you have learned much from one another in those, these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you two. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. <laughs> James, I am truly blessed to be a part of your life. You are my best friend, my partner, and not my husband. I couldn't ask for a better man. I promise to believe in you, encourage you, and inspire you. I promise to stand by your side with your life's most joyful.
joyous moments and challenging ones. I promise to be kind, patient, and forgiving. And I promise to always honor your passion for football <laughs> and for your beloved 49ers. I will never stop laughing with you, and I promise to keep a sense of humor. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adventures. I love you very much and can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.